Hey guys, it's XMK Epic here. Today I'm bringing you a knifing highlights video where I'm just going to be talking about why I don't knife in Call of Duty. I kind of made this as I was making my Rising Tide melee weapon video and I couldn't get enough footage for that video, but it went out yesterday. If you want to go and check it out, the link is in the description below. But this is where I'm going to talk about all the reasons why I do not play Call of Duty, Black Ops 4 and knife on it and why I prefer to be a sniper. But anyways, hopefully you guys can relate to this. If there's any reason you hate playing knifing in Black Ops 4, then let me know so we can and just have a nice little uh, discussion about it. But anyways, just enjoy the video, guys, and I'll see you soon. But anyway, I keep I keep going off topic. So the main gist of this video was I don't enjoy the knifing system for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is this whole like you can't spam tomahawks thing. Like if I do it now, you see, like I go to throw tomahawks and it kind of does a throw and then stutter. And I've kind of I put this in a video which I uploaded a while ago where it explains the whole, uh, the fact that they're trying to not spam equipment. But it's a problem, like, if people are allowed to get these, like, gun overpowered gunships and are allowed to spam, like, stupid features on it, how, where's the balance in allowing me to spam my tomahawk, okay? Second thing is the class setups, like, why in a specialist game mode, why in any game mode should I have to wait to earn the tomahawk? And the tomahawk just kind of, like, I feel like this tomahawk should just be something you spawn in with. If you go up to a store and go like, hey, I'd like some uh, eggs and some milk and some, some bread. If they don't go, okay, you can have the milk and bread now, but the eggs are on like a seven day delivery term thing. So you kind of have to wait seven days, even though you've got to pay for them now, right? We'll give you the eggs now and the payment on the receipt. You just have to wait seven days for the eggs because eggs don't come straight away. It makes no logical sense. I can understand from like an equipment point of view. They want to try and get the equipment to be balanced in the game and they want to have like more of a fair even playing field for guns but you can't have one rule for one and then like a different rule for another it just it really just makes the game unbalanced well they technically didn't but they did because i'm sorry what what's happening are they, is there a problem with the melee in this game? Like, I'm just... I'm having this problem where the game's not registering my melee kills. Thank you. Okay. So he outknifes me. See, this is where, again, like, I really have to emphasize this. If it's a new weapon, put it as a combat knife. Stop giving the enemy stuff I've paid for. They haven't paid for stuff and... And again, look, the freaking... He out melees me by doing this, like... And, like, we keep saying it all the time. This game's so broken, but you people, people always go as well on the lines of, oh, how is this, like, the better Call of Duty? Why do, why do you play this game if it's, like, so boring? It's just like, there's no other games out there at the moment I really like that much. And it just, like, feels stupid to say, but, like, like, it's the newest Call of Duty. It's supposed to be something we should be playing and enjoying, and at the moment, we're not enjoying it. I'm just saying this as a content creator. Again, I don't want to feel like I'm pressurizing anyone, but when you've got stuff like this, when this guy can fly back with a shotgun, which is a close, quartered weapon, and he's flying backwards... And he's getting more more impressive things than me. I know, fair enough, I won the battle there, but, and there. But you know, it's just like when when this is when this is taken into account on like like 99% of the time, people are going to outgun you while you're running with a melee weapon, and it should be like 50-50. It should be equal equal opportunity. So another issue I have is probably the map design. Like you can see on this map, there's no way for me to like flank them. They're always gonna have people each side of the map and just I've lost control. Like right, let's see if I can get a nice bank shot. Nearly. Wait, why am I why am I firebreak? I didn't ask to be firebreak. Oh okay, and it's just reset my axis. Beautiful. There's another problem. Why does it reset my axe counter even though I'm just changing specials? I'm not changing like I know it probably is changing equipment, but I've taken equipment away from my combat axe. My combat axe should be my choice of equipment. Like I said, it just feels again like they're just 
They're just trying to stop people from having fun in this game. Oh, come on, that could have been something amazing. That's apparently overpowered. Alright, let's try CP Hawk. I don't think anyone's hit on the beach yet. So they're really difficult in this game, especially with the way the combat acts back. So. Come on. Oh my god, is that gunship? Really? Why do... Okay, first of all, why did he not kill my teammate? Second of all, why is it when I go for CP Hawks? I always get good stuff. Yeah, okay, enemy gunship, right? Yeah, bye. <laughs> Black Ops 4, everybody. Black Ops 4. Taking control. There we are. Get that guy. I... Um... <laughs> never mind. See, it's amazing how I've played like three or four games and I've already found about ten different, different sort of things with their knifing. Like... <clears throat> I've never really... Well, you, can, you can just tell. Like, even just play a game yourself. Play a game of Black Ops 4 and you'll see how broken it is. Then again, that's why people don't play Black Ops 4. They just don't want to waste their time on this thing. And I, I, I don't blame them. Like, I really don't blame the fact that people are going down here. Bringing tech deploy online. Ah, oh, should be a nice bank shot. Our tech deploy beacon has been destroyed. Ooh. Hello. Oh, c come on! On that game on Seaside, that kid was lunging me from further back than that. And when it comes to me, it's suddenly, oh no, sorry, you have to be point blank with the enemy. Like, you can, I've, I've been in sniper, bare bones lobbies where people have knifed me better than that. Like, come, oh my god, right, this is another thing. The hit detection is bad. The hit detection is ridiculously bad. And if it hasn't been evidently clear from those last two lives, I don't know what else I can do to show you guys. Because this, look at the size of this sword. Like, look at this, look at this. This is not a small sword. This is a huge sword. This sword is the hugest, and like, I'm just struggling to even get people who are right next to me. And before I know it, they've already jumped. They're out of my sight. I don't know where they are. They've already got the drop on me, and they've they've pushed back further than I can run forward to get them. Ah, oh, okay. This this video is just going to be an entire rant on knifing in Black Ops 4, and the next one is a spawn system. Like, uh. You probably saw the video I uploaded either earlier today or earlier this week, depending on when I'm talking about video out. But, like, like, look, like, how am I supposed to, as a knifer, like... Uh, see, I try, I'm trying to do, like, a nice video explaining this weapon here, but this game's so broken, it doesn't give you any chance to, like, use this weapon effectively. There's no... This weapon, right, is a buyable weapon, so... At least there should be some sort of reason to use this weapon, but you just can't find any. You, you've really like knifers have it so painful. Like first of all, you've got the whole community saying that you're noobs, and the second bit is just you're always pushed back when it comes to new games. I mean, fair enough, they could go, oh look, melee weapon. Like they did the whole thing in Modern Warfare Remastered of the melee weapons, but it just it. Who cares? Like, it's Modern Warfare Remastered. The game is bad. The game was always based around... This was before throwing knives became a thing and tomahawks became a thing. So the game's based around gunplay and gun battle. And knifing was just sort of like a, you know, like a quick reaction if someone's next to you. Saves you using your weapon. Tactical reinforcement. It's along the lines of your whole pull out your pistol because it's quicker than reloading. Not pull out your pistol because you can do better with a pistol than you can with a thing. Like... Oh, okay. That was that was quite nice. Okay, we can we can ignore what uh, like, well we can't ignore. Okay, the more we ignore, if I go, oh, we can ignore that because I sort of did good there. That's just lucky. Okay, that's not that's not something to see as perceive to be as. Oh no, Black Ops Four is all fixed now because I did one thing luckily. Like like look at this right. Next thing, jumping right. Look at that. He's using an LMG. LMGs, to my knowledge, weigh about like 60-80k, right? Then something that... D d 60 by kilograms, I mean, by there. But they're not something you could just run around and jump around and sprint and shout and, you know, that... I, I can imagine a light machine gun, even though the, tip, the name is light machine gun because it's being carried. I don't think suddenly you'll be able to do, like, 
depth 100 meter hurdles with this. Um, uh, let's, see. let's get that there. Right, so. Right, come on. Lovely. Oh, you damn dog! Oh god, I hate playing with specialists again, but there's no other game modes. There's no, like, there's not a knife only game mode, even though that would be terrible. It'd be like all or nothing. Look, look, he's trying to. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. For once, someone running around with their fists and me using the melee weapon, I get the upper hand. It's not a case of, oh, well, you've got melee weapons, so we've got to balance it out by making sure you can't win. At least, like, I've. Uh... Final thing I want to get on with this video in regards to how bad Black Ops 4 is, is the throwing knife, or the tomahawk, or the combat axe, whichever you want to call it. But. And it's not the case of just the fact that it spawns in late. It's the bank shotting. Like, oh, what's happened again now? Is it every time I get a camo? It's like every time I get a camo, there's a UE error. And it just doesn't want me to get the next camo. I'm so confused. But, right, as I was on to the combat axe, the combat axe, bank shotting wise, is rubbish. And I know, fair enough, it's not a realistic thing. But compared to Black Ops 1, in this game, it doesn't want to bounce at all. Like, if I do that, like, look, there's no momentum behind it. It was one of those things that, like, kind of made the combat axe effective. And not only them making them have to spawn in after a certain time, or, like, making them throw really slow, or the whole locking them thing wasn't enough. They also had to nerf the bank shotting, because, because uh, like, it's apparently overpowered. But it's not overpowered, okay, because... It gives knifers an edge, no pun intended, over people who like to camp in corners. If someone likes to go, oh, you know, I'm just going to be Mr. Campy on a rock, I can do something like that and hopefully hit them and take them out. But when it comes so close to the wall that I can't even do that, that's when it's like... I saw the mesh mine there, by the way, next level. Um, it's not even like... You know, it's proving that they're just really trying to hunt him down on I thought you were an enemy. No, bad doggy, bad doggy. Okay, but yeah, it's, you, you know, it's just one of those things where it's just, <coughs> it's another problem with the game. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, if I had to tell you guys directly about this new melee weapon, I wouldn't get it. Like, personally, the reason I wouldn't get it is because there's nothing special about it. I know I said as well, <laughs> it's going to be annoying now because I said like the final thing wrong with... I always do this, I always go off topic, but I'm sorry, but the final thing for me personally, the final finalist thing, like final finale, overall, end of whatever, is that with the melee weapons, right, we've got one, we've got the combat knife, we've got the nifuti, we've got the rising tide, we have the sleigh bell, we have the... Uh, we have the Secret Santa and we have the money bag, or the uh, the sack of money, essentially. And I might have missed a few out. But the one issue I have with each knifing one is they're all the same. They all f fit into the same category. Like, there's not... Like, there's nothing... If I put on the Nafuti now, or if I put on the... Any of the other melee weapons, nothing's different. Nothing's gonna change. That's, and that's the problem. Infinite Warfare did a really good job because they had the Huntsman Axe, which was a throwable one, you could throw it. They had the Nunchucks, which I think increased melee speed, or they increased, like, your movement speed. They increased something to do with it. And then there was Nunchucks, and the Nunchucks did something. They all had these variants which made them individual to each other. They made them all different. Okay, I'm having a problem with the